okay let's do one more okay so now you will be doing it okay and i'll be waiting for you to do it okay so i'll give you uh, the production function i'll give you the utility function and uh, just figure out the parade efficient allocations okay fine okay let me put r first and c second so that you know you have no confusion okay urc is equal to okay uh let's say r times c okay so it's a cop douglas utility okay and let's say c is equal to 2l okay fine okay so do it so total time available is still one right yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, unless i'll tell you you know just use one okay uh, so otherwise you know use whatever is given in the problem so just in case uh, you know you get a different different problem then it's possible that you may be given some amount some other amount of time you know maybe 365 days or, or maybe 24 hours okay or maybe 60 minutes okay so uh, whatever okay So R is half, C is one, L is half, and utility is half. Okay, what are you getting? R is half. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Okay. So L and R both are half, and uh, C is two. Sorry, C is one. Okay, so this is how we can do it. So of course you can draw the picture. So use the picture yourself. So I'll not using I'll not be using the picture in this. Uh, you do the you use the picture and solve it. Okay, fine. Uh, what I'll do is I'll straight away solve the optimization problem. Okay, fine. So I want to maximize what I want to maximize with respect to C, R, L, R times C. Okay. Uh, subject to the constraint that L plus R is one. Okay, and C is equal to two L. Okay, and of course L is non-negative, R is non-negative, and C is non-negative. Okay, right? This is the problem that we want to solve. Yes or no? Okay. Now let me tell you a quick way of doing it without plotting the graph. Okay, what you can do is you can convert it into a two-variable problem. Okay, you can convert this problem into a two-variable optimization problem, and then it will be just very simple to solve in a routine way. Okay, you don't have to draw any picture; you can just solve it in a routine way. Okay, so let me tell you how. Okay, so maximize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace C by 2L. Can I do that? Okay. So if I'm going to replace C by 2L, I'm going to get what? 2RL. Okay. And then because C is no longer there, I have this objective. This is a standard Cobb Douglas utility maximization problem subject to a linear constraint. And you know the solution. So R is half, L is half. Yes. Okay. So R star is half. L star is half. And then using the fact that C is 2L, C star is 1. Yes or no? Okay, so without plotting, you know, you can just quickly do this because you have solved so many problems involving Cobb Douglas. So you can uh, you can just uh, use use that uh, to just answer it directly. Okay, is that fine? 
and you could have done the same thing with in the other problem also by the way because then it would have con you would have converted that into a perfect substitutes kind of uh maximization problem is that clear okay fine okay okay so let me give you another one so suppose uh urc is equal to um okay do this again you have one unit of time and i'll give you 5 minutes okay to solve this so r is 0 c is 2 utility is 2 and l is 1 very good very good Okay, is this clear, everybody? Okay, is everybody getting uh, R is zero, L is one, uh, and C is two? is that okay fine so you can solve it using either methods you know you can actually either use a graphical approach or you can just uh, simply do this by converting it it into a one variable or two variable optimization problem and then solve it okay fine okay 